President William Ruto and his deputy Rigathi Gashagwa have embarked on a countrywide campaign to drum up support for the new cabinet secretary nominees, saying they will unite Kenyans. While Ruto, who is on a four-day development tour of the coast region, expressed confidence in the region's nominees Hassan Joho and Salim Vuria, saying they will deliver. And as Apollo Kamau reports, a petitioner has moved to court challenging the nomination of opposition figures to the cabinet. Well, I understand and we'll be bringing you that story in just a short while. But of course, moving on to part of our coverage tonight, and uh, we understand that uh, families of those killed in the anti-government protests uh, now fear they might not get justice after all, especially after the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions announced that they have returned investigation files to the Independent Policing um, Authority for lack of audience. Well, parents of Rex Masai and even Skiratsu now hint at the possibility of a cover-up and uh, Samira Mohammed will be telling us more about that particular leading story. But moving on, immediate former public uh, service Secretary, uh, Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria is speaking out tonight, seemingly accusing the government he served as CS of failing Kenyans. Well, Kuria joined mourners in a funeral in Ukambani, also graced by a section of area leaders who called out on ODM leader Railo Denga for not being honest. Paul Kirobi has the details of this. A few days after President William Ruto made what he says is a creation of a broad-based government that ended up accommodating members from the opposition coalition, the move has forced emergence of rift in President Ruto's Kenya Kwanza coalition that accommodated several parties before the 2022 general election. Former Cabinet Secretary for Trade Moses Kuria is now accusing the leadership of Kenya Kwanza for failing to deliver its promises to Kenyans, despite having an ambitious plan. <laughs> Mambo mingi sana tumeweza. Lakini mnajua kuna ile fan inaitwa hasa fan. Watu milioni 12 wamekopa pesa ya hasa fan, wametoroka nayo. Tukajaribu kuwafuata imetushinda. Tukaambia hapana nya unaonekana hiyo kazi unaweza kuja utaruta hiyo pesa. Watu milioni 12 ambao the developments akin to relieving events after the March 2018 handshake between then President Uru Kenyatta and opposition chief Ryan Laudinga, which gave birth to a splinter faction within the ruling coalition of those disgruntled by Raila's entry to government. <laughs> And as families continue to cry for their loved ones, Makweni Governor Mutula Kilonzo says it was unfair for Raila to forgo the interest of Gen Z, yet a good number of young people died defending their country, only to end up having handshake with President Ruto. Makweni MP Dan Manzo is now pushing to have law on victim compensation as part of ensuring justice is served to those who are affected by the recent demonstration. We have also said all the other victims, all the children who have been killed, everybody who is injured, they must be compensated. I am just left with questions. Did young children have to die for all the to get this in government? The recent move of Azimio coalition pushing for its leaders to be part of the government now sets the ball rolling in Kenya's political arena. Paul Kirobi, TV47, Nairobi. Thank you.